I was five years old when I touched a woman's inner thigh for the first time. I couldn't look her in the eyes even as I was being told it was okay. I was 14 when I was made fun of for being a virgin. That I wasn't living up to what the men in my family have accomplished. I was 15 when I lost my virginity to a sex worker. I was meant to feel proud about it, to carry with me the smell of her as if it was a badge of honor. To this day, I still don't know her name. I was 18 when my cousin asked me why I didn't have a girlfriend. They didn't look like the kind to even want a girlfriend, that if I were gay, I should just own up to it. The next day, I asked the quiet girl in my class to be my girlfriend. I never loved her. I was 21 when I came across a friend sobbing, her face buried on the palms of her hands. She spoke to me in whispers about how the boy raped her, how nobody believed her, how even she stopped believing it was raped by virtue of her vodka and short skirt. And you know what they say, boys will be boys. We are the boys of the world, hardwired to believe that we are unstoppable creatures of the night who act based only on our natural hunger, insatiable, untamed, animalistic. We will whistle at your beautiful and dress it up as a compliment. We will turn your clothes into open invitations. We will buy you drinks and expect you undressed by midnight as if you owe it to us. So forgive me if I refuse to be reduced into a beast to claw my fingers at the first sight of raw meat. They always glorify us for being strong, tell me. Where is the strength in preying on the defenseless? We put men in business suits, in black robes, behind a desk in a white house. Heck, we even put a man in the sky believing that we, boys, will grow up in his image and likeness, the wisest of them all. Tell me, where is the wisdom in our inability to understand that no means no, but no. You, woman, should have known better, right? Pick anything from a G-string to pink pajamas and it'll still be your fault. Take your whiskey, your scotch, your mother's milk, it doesn't matter. You are a woman and you have always been the one to blame ever since the first ultrasound result that said that you will turn out to be a woman. As if to be an idle pedestrian crossing the street is as good as begging a drunk driver to run you over. As if to be a fish swimming in shallow waters during Lent is an invitation to be consumed. So to all of the boys, fuck her, right? Fuck the prostitute, fuck the quiet girl in class, fuck the drunk girl in the short skirt, fuck the missionary, fuck her in missionary, fuck her wild like the beasts that they described us to be. We are boys and weren't we raised to believe that her entire existence is founded on a single piece of our wind. Fuck her like we are reclaiming ourselves. Boys will be boys. Now every morning I wake up confronted by the reflection of a boy. And every morning, I am reminded of exactly how dangerous I am, of how I am so very capable of intruding somebody else's house and taking with me all its belongings as I leave the front door, of how I can swallow your no and hear nothing but a moaning yes, bypass your refusal, abandon you like a vile stain on the bathroom floor and be able to tell the world that you liked it too, that you asked for it. This baby, I am blood, bruise, and blisters, no belt buckles or boundaries, all about the birds and the bees. A bit of boredom, but mostly blame, blame, blame. I am a bachelor for you to behold, or a bartender spilling beer and bourbon down your throat, so baby, swallow me easy, or a Bible, so worship me. Be my sacrificial lamb, my Belheng Maria, bask in my bigoted, backward belief system, my bankruptcy of morality. I am a blade, swinging my sword, cutting you open into a battlefield. Boys will be boys, right? Most importantly, I am a boy made up of beard, balls, and bad omens, and you are my birthright, my bitch, my beautiful, bodacious bombshell. But when you, woman, erupt into a blaze so bright and destructive that people can't help but look away, who the hell am I to erase my fingerprints from the pieces of you that remain? Who the hell am I to sweep away my remnants from the carnage I have created from this grand explosion? You, woman, may be a bombshell. But we, boys, are the ones who pulled the trigger. It is not your fault. Thank you.